Hey, Justin James here. We're going to learn why and how to use the kettlebell to get your golf game better. So let's go. All right, so we got a kettlebell workout for you guys today. But first, we want to thank our sponsor, Iron Jock with Silver Ion Technology, infused into the clothing so that you will not stink, which is important and it's stretchable and breathable so that we can move on the golf course and make that full swing. So give them a shout, Iron Jock, use the code HITBOMBS for 20% off on your next purchase, thanks to Iron Jock. So let's get going with our kettlebell, okay? So the first question we wanna ask is why, okay? Uh, kettlebell is a perfect transition from our strength training into our athletic speed of our golf swing. The way we swing a kettlebell, the only way to do it is athletically, and it's this dance between max contractions and relaxation. So it's a contraction relaxation pattern. That's what happens in athletics. If I'm gonna kick the camera, I'm not gonna do it like a squat with a barbell where I'm just contracting the whole way up. I'm gonna contract, I'm gonna launch, and then I'm gonna relax to let that leg swing. Same thing happens with a golf swing. I contract to get it going, relax at the top. I then contract again and relax. If I was contracting the whole time, okay, I wouldn't be able to create any force or velocity. Okay, just like with this kettlebell, if I contract the whole time, I'm just gonna lift it up. You need to swing it to the top. All right, so if you take someone who cannot swing a kettlebell properly, which is a lot of you, and then you teach them to swing a kettlebell properly and sequence it properly, they just became a better athlete, and that's what we're trying to do for you guys. So that's why it's so important. All right, Crash Course 101 real quick on how to swing a kettlebell. All right, I'm here to give you guys a workout today, not necessarily a whole course in kettlebell training, but we'll try to, to do it real quick. The kettlebell is controlled with this part of your body, your core and your pelvis. What else is controlled with your core and pelvis? Ideally, it's your golf swing, right? That's where power is coming from. So the more efficient we can swing this kettlebell with our core and with our pelvis, the more efficiently and powerfully we're gonna be able to swing that golf club. All right, so all the force is generated here. All right, a lot of you I see swing a bell look like this. You are squatty McSquatterson where you're here and you lift it. That is not a kettlebell swing. All right, that's just ugly. That's what that is. All right, we are thinking 85% hip hinge and 15% squat, or some people 70% hip hinge, 30% squat. We're here and we fire the hips into hip extension. All right, a good thought for a lot of you is a broad jump. If I'm gonna jump as far as I can out, I'm gonna load here and then explode up, tuck those hips underneath me and launch forward. That's what we're doing with this swing. Boom. All right, so the kettlebell swing is the first move we're gonna do. Next, we're gonna go to a clean. All right, so we're going to be single arm. We're going to swing it, rack it, and press it. Okay, so what does that look like? In a single arm swing, the arc would be this far. We're going to cut that arc in half, pull it up, and then tuck this hand through the bell. This quick little uppercut shimmy. All right, from there, keep our core tight, grind that up. Okay, that's our clean. Let's look at a snatch next. Snatch is essentially the same thing. We cut the arc in half, we pull that elbow high, but now instead of driving our hand through the bell at kind of chest height, we're gonna drive our hand through the bell at head height. That's our snatch. Throw down and back up. Okay, the advantage of this and the advantage of kettlebell training is we're throwing a ton of weight into the ground with each repetition. <laughs> All right, our final exercise that we're gonna look at is a lateral swing. So we're gonna be here, hip hinge, and we're gonna slightly, now don't knock your knees. If you early extend or bring your hips forward, brings your knees into play and it's gonna hurt, okay? Keep your hips back, load the trail side, lead side, trail side, lead side, trail side, lead side. Remember, stay hip hinged over. We are gonna learn how to dynamically load and transfer our weight from our trail to lead side with a little bit of weight. And you're gonna be able to feel that in your hips as you load and you push back, push back, push back. 
So let's go through those four exercises now. I'm gonna do 10 reps, you would do 20 for the sake of time and because I'm tired. And I'm also using a sissy bell, 35 pounds for me. I would normally use something, let's say 60, maybe 80 if I'm feeling frisky that day. Okay, for you men at home, 35, 45 pounds, probably a good place to start. You need a bell that's too heavy for you to just lift up with your arms, that forces your hips to swing the bell. Women, 20, 15, 25 pound range would probably be good. All right, so we're gonna start with the swing. I'll do 10 reps. Remember, you're gonna do 20. One, tuck that pelvis. Each rep, two, three. We wanna be light, loose, fire the hips. Six, seven, eight. We're thinking hip hinge, nine and 10. From there, we're gonna go clean. I'll do five each side. From here, I'm tight, press up. Press up, it's that little uppercut, drive the hand through the bell. Now important, right here, my thumb is able to point in my chest, every rep. Boom, thumb into chest. I'm not racking it out here, thumb into chest. So that's five, now I'll switch. One, two. I wanna be loose on that swing, loose and powerful. Here I'm real rigid. I'm working on rigidity and tension through the body. Contract, relax, rigid. Let's see, that's four, I think. So it'll be five. Now I'll go to snatch. Now we're overhead. One, two. We're trying to get a lot of force in the ground here. Three, four. We'll throw that down. Five. Switch sides. One. You would be doing ten each side. Two. Three, four, five, good. Now I'll finish, heart's pumping obviously, with 10 lateral swings. So I'm gonna get this good hip hinge position, keep this bell in front of me, don't let it bang my knees. One, two, three, four, keep those hips back, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good for staying in your tilt, staying in your posture. All lower body, hips, pelvic control, all the same stuff that we need in the golf swing. If you get better at this, you're gonna get better at sequencing the golf club, at being more fast, powerful, and efficient and that's how you use kettlebell training for golf hope you guys liked this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and again we'd like to thank our sponsor iron jock check them out use promo code hit bombs until next time we'll see you guys